is Loka, The Truth Bites, by Gina Marquez of Venice High School. Most people I seem okay on the outside, but inside it's a totally different story. I mean, I'm not saying my hot mess. I bring this like a hodgepodge of thoughts, memories, ideas, like everyone else's, except mine works at like a thousand miles per hour, making life on the daily very interesting. One moment I'm genuinely listening to my friends talk, and the next I'm thinking about what I'm gonna have for dinner. Is my face doing something funny? I feel like my face is doing something funny. Other times I'm sitting through a lecture and I'm pinching myself not to go off in a spiral of thoughts, and honestly, there's almost only so much pinching you can do. And last summer I took a psychology course, and when I was taking the course, I learned all about mental and personality disorders that exist, and I found this hodgepodge of thoughts working at like a thousand miles an hour is a symptom of ADHD. It's attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. I was shocked. <laughs> Since I had normalized my symptoms all my life, and by doing more and more research, it was clear as day. I mentioned my concerns about ADHD to my parents, but they just shrugged it off in disbelief, and they said, you're fine, stop making up illnesses you don't have. <laughs> and I was kind of taken aback by their response. I mean, how am I supposed to shrug this off? How can they be so calm and so not I need help. Don't they see you? Do they just expect me to like snap my fingers and my problems will go away? Presto, bing, bang, boom, God, I'm cured. I guess my symptoms are just gonna go untreated and I commit to a life of no friends and I live in a car down by the river. <laughs> Staying on task, or that I don't have trouble keeping my room organized, or that I don't hyperfixate on certain activities. What the hell? I mean, at least I'm fine, right? Everything's fine, right? In their defense, this is a reasonable response since they don't have much experience in the mental health department. See, I come from a Latin background that prefers to keep mental health issues under wraps than directly address them. And if they are addressed, they say, you're crazy. It's no cop. I don't blame them for not knowing what to do. I think they raised me the best way to know how. And for that, I'm grateful. And by sharing my story, I just want to spread the message to the Latino community that you're not alone, that your feelings are valid, and we should spread the word about mental health in our community. <laughs> Thermometer. I guess that's what we'll do now. <laughs> Still broken. <laughs> Keep going.